Thank you, Amber. What a blessing it is to be able to bring good quality movies to all of you here on TV44. Well, you've all seen me flash my favorite running mugs on this show a few times. I actually forgot to bring my, my coffee cup mugs today. But those are a reflection of my interest in physical fitness. And Dr. Trudy is joining us again here to talk more about important things that you need to be doing this spring and getting motivated. And exercising is one of them, right? No one has an excuse not to do it. Exactly. There's so many good reasons besides the fact we all want to look great. You know, put on our shorts and our swimsuits this year. One of them, there are a lot more, a lot more reasons why we need to do this. Now, getting motivated is another s subject because I know you're motivated all the time. It doesn't take much. Jennifer's out running every week. I need a goal this year. One of my bucket lists was to walk a half marathon. So, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes setting a goal mm -hmm. and then making yourself do that is another way to help you get out and get exercise. But some of the good reasons is mood. Jennifer, mm -hmm. you can change your mood just by exercising. The, when you exercise, it produces endorphins. Mm -hmm. We've all heard about that, which helps you re reduce your stress. It makes you feel good, makes you feel relaxed. So if you're having a bad day, you should get out and walk a little bit, do a little exercise. So I should know what, what's being told when my family or my husband says, you should just go running. It's really not for my fitness. Huh? No, it's a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jennifer. <laughs> and then two, how many people um, have a hard time sleeping? If you don't sleep well at night, you probably need to exercise more. Mm -hmm. It's been shown that 67% of people who regularly exercise have a great, not a good, a great mm -hmm. night's sleep because of the exercise. And it was interesting that it doesn't matter, Jennifer, whether you exercise in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. It still will produce a better quality sleep. So you want a better sleep? Get out and exercise. Strengthens your memory. We don't often think about that, but when you have that blood that's pumping through your brain, it, uh, it will um, increases more hormones that stimulate your, your thought processes. It makes you more creative. Uh, a lot of things will boost your energy. Mm -hmm. um, it can reduce the risk of cancer. Wow. How about that? By um, linking more exercise and lower risk of breast and uterine cancer. So if you want to get more oxygen in your body, which helps uh, counter cancer cells, you should exercise. So what would qualify as exercise? You know, somebody like me who is used to running quite a few miles or being very active, the things that I can handle are probably going to be a little different than somebody who's just saying, yeah, I need to get started. Is there a target amount of time or maybe number of days a week? Or what would be a good beginning pattern that doesn't overdo too much too quickly? People tend to get so excited about it that they set these outrageous goals they cannot accomplish. So first of all, be really realistic. And what you want to do is 20 minutes. If you can do 20 minutes three times a week, that's a great way to start walking. Start off with a little aerobic exercise, but you want to eventually add some resistance. So if you're walking, maybe you should get those little weight doohickey things mm. that you put around your wrists and, mm -hmm. your, and your ankles and walk along and that'll also help you not only re uh, reduce your weight, but give you more strength and, dam and, and stamina and endurance. Mm. Of course, there's lots and lots of more things that we could talk about exercise. I want to remind you that Dr. Trudy Peeper is with the Phoenix Wellness in Johnstown, Ohio. Her phone number is on the screen, and we're certainly appreciative of all the health tips that she brings us many times here on Faith and Friends. Last week, you heard her talk about honey, and in the weeks to come, we're going to have a lot more things from her as well.